we're just going to jump right into it because this game, spooky. Spooky's house of cum sluts. Except it's Spooky's jump scare mansion. Smile. But we're going to be playing through Karami, Ka, sorry, Kara, mm, Ka, Karamari Hospital. I, I think that's a pun off of Calamari. <laughs> Which I believe is is what 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 is that? Fry it's like fried squid or some shit. Alright, let's start it up. Warning, this game contains violent and disturbing material. And obviously flashing lights because this is a video game. Is there an options menu? Oh Jesus. Fix resolution. There we go. Wow, this looks very similar to Silent Hill. Or just like the main menu of Silent Hill 2. New game. Okay, so we have mouse and keyboard. E, enter space, shift, left click. Water fountains save the game. Spooky. <laughs> Every day is Wednesday. <laughs> So this was part of the trailer. Look at that room number. Mm. I don't know how you got all the way down here. I didn't even remember there were rooms down here. Well, good luck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Importing 3D models. Game saved. Cool. Oh, okay. Broken. Yeah, this looks fine. I don't like that. <laughs> That's really loud. Dr. Hamada, oncologist. The patient has displayed increased depression after being informed of their terminal disease. I prescribed an antidepressant to regulate this, but was later told that I had canceled the prescription. I have no memory of canceling the meds, nor can I find any evidence that my orders were tampered with. I need to remember not to close out of that by left clicking. Stairs? Oh, those go down. This is downstairs. Your pain is just a product of your broken mind. Don't bother the doctors. They've got enough blood on their hands. <laughs> Deal with it yourself. It's electronically sealed. Yeah, okay. Alright, looks like we're going down. Yeah, this is getting real Silent Hill. <laughs> Office key picked up. Nurse Tanaka, report number 404. It seems we are losing patients due to surgical complications much more often than normal. What have the doctors been doing? Half of these procedures seem completely unnecessary. I know the doctors and surgeons are above me and probably know many things I don't, but this is getting strange. We got the office key. We can go to the office. It's all that matters. I don't do well with scary games. 
That was a really unsettling noise. All right. Interesting. Dr. Hamada, oncologist. It seems the other me has been giving him large doses of hallucinogenics. They have worsened the depression, and he is now constantly screaming and expressing terror at random intervals. I've tried using a dialysis machine to remove some of the drugs, but it seems futile. Broken. Broken. Oh, that just looks amazing. Would you look at that? It's a lovely baby goyle. And by goyle, I mean ghoul. It's a lovely baby ghoul. Maintenance key picked up. Dr. Tochigi, hepatologist. I was just informed that the procedure to extract the patient's liver became fatal. I don't know why. Why did we take his liver? There are no donation requests, and he was showing signs of improvement. The surgical staff told me I personally demanded the liver be removed for an emergency transplant, and the worst thing is, I found it. I found his liver. His entire liver just sitting on my desk. Deformity wing. Exit. Oh boy. So we got the key to the maintenance room. Hold on. Is there... Like, controls? Oh, that exits the game. Oops. <laughs> I thought that would just go to the main menu, bro. Do I go in? <laughs> The door was electronically sealed. I get it now. Trying to use the bodies. It's not letting me. This is fucking terrifying. Broken. Oh, of course. Nurse Tanaka. Uh, report number 406. Something sinister is beating on the wall of my subconscious beating like a wardrobe, motioning me to march down into hell. Tell me about it. Acid picked up. Well, what do I do with this? Isolation. Won't turn back on. No, please. Uh. 
Can I save? Please? Uh, it's still so unsettling. Uh, please go away. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, I don't want to sit in that chair. I feel like that chair is a death chair. Oh, there's a bunch of static TV. Deformity wing? I think it's fake. So apparently I'm missing something. Oh, do I need to recheck all of these rooms? I really hope I don't. Maybe you gotta sit in the CBT chair. CBT, of course, standing for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Alright, we're doing it. We're going to the CBT chair. That was this one, right? Yeah. Hospital wait times are a killer. <laughs> Reaching enlightenment. Huh? I can't sit in it anymore. Pog? You awake in a wasteland not meant for you at the ground. Underneath you screams the sky above violently pulls on you in the air. And you presses on it trying to worm its way in. Game over. Yeah, alright. That, <laughs> that got me, I'll admit. Occasionally, I'll, like, in the rough middle of the screen, like, you can see, like, something that almost kind of looks like a turtle. That's it. Okay, now we leave. Check out the other rooms. What is this? Dr. Kanagawa, hem hematologist. The patient did not recover from the blood loss. Hematology is the study of blood. I feel like there is a monster inside my head, and it's pushing me away while it works on something. I woke up in the patient's room standing over him while an arterial catheter was in the patient, letting him just bleed out onto the floor. <clears throat> I 
I blacked out today while driving to work. One minute I was driving down the road, and then in an instant I was standing outside my car, down at a dead cat. I must have hit it with my car and felt sorry. The image of the dead cat has constantly unnerved me today. How did I manage to hit it in such a way to make the body completely twisted around like that? Yikers, gamer. That was not broken before. Do me like that. Bro. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I really like that. What's up? This place is much bigger than I thought it would be. It's very interesting. Well, yeah. Keep going, recruit, and I'm sure you'll make it out. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks. All right. It was the one after this. Oh, great. have to? Can I just leave the hell out of here? Look at this ghoul baby. This baby ghoul. He doesn't look like he turned out too well. I don't want to be like that. This is the ghoul baby. Oh, I don't like this at all. Game is trying to get me to turn around. Really? Really now. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. This is scary. This is scary. This is a spooky, scary game. All right. I don't want to lose my progress, too. Vagina baby? Vagina baby? Yep, vagina baby. Hi. Okay. So this is the way out. This is the real way out. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's try right this time.
vagina baby. Straight. All right. Here at Sunshine Academy, love is in the air. You have transferred from your high school in the States and cannot wait to take your new classes here at school. Who knows, maybe your true dreams will come to fruition within these red halls. Your mother has packed you a lunch. Perfect. By the way, my name is Ume Ito. School bell. I had no idea how many perfect spirals existed in nature. I knew! I knew it! I knew her last name was a reference. Right down there on the second house on the left. It's an old house, but it's a place I call home. My home is inside you! I like how well your skin pulls across your skull. Can I play again? I feel like I have to get a specific ending for something to happen. You know, I've been reading this, uh, this manga. This manga. It's gotten pretty popular, apparently. It's, it's about a group of high school students that are in a... in a shared house. In a dorm. I think it turns out that they're all streamers. It's kind of weird. <sighs> there has to be a good ending. There has to be a good ending. I like the way you choke at me, girl. Show me how them tits fart. The correct option has been replaced with slipping, dripping. Let's just try picking all of the wrong things. Like, my eyes are dissolving. Glad to hear it. I just kept dying over and over. I will consume you. Everything is disgusting here. The flies are. Can't fit anymore. I've known all along. For your behavior? And Ume has escaped. Game over. I think that's the good ending. Congratulations. We achieved the good ending. I really don't like that the music just stopped. I really don't like that. Never again. <laughs> I'm Bagul, baby. This is the Bagul. Dude, these guys are fucking manufacturing fl fleshlights. This is Fleshlight Model 1. This is what it looked like. You see, he's like measuring it. He's like looking down at it with like a scope. It's like, hmm, yes, this looks... This looks like it's been used many times. This girl, she's she just can't handle the semen smell, so she's got like a mask on. She's like, 
Jesus Christ, all these fucking dudes just coming all the time. I'm fucking making these for <laughs> This is, yeah, this is Peter R. Fleshlight discovering the Fleshlight. This is him, like, using, you see, the original model made back in 1953 was actually made out of wood, right? So that hole you see him, like, peeking into was bored out with a, a metal bore by hand, right? They didn't have, like, machine boring in the 50s, apparently. So they had to bore it out by hand. Which coincidentally kind of looks like you, like, trying to jack off yourself. Kind of. And then afterwards, they would, like, put a thing on top. Look into it. Be like, oh yeah, that looks fine. And then they'd ship it off. And that's, that's Fleshlight 1. This fucking game, dude. My heart cannot handle this. I'm not, like... That fucking chase scene. That was terrifying. I I will say, that got me. I knew it was coming, too. I fucking knew it. As soon as the music stopped, I was like, something's about to happen. This is gonna be awful. Uh, I didn't turn my lights off for this one because I would not be able to fucking play this with my lights off. I'm not gonna lie, I'm that much of a bitch. If my lights were off, I would like, I would freeze in place, you know? <laughs> I would be like, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not doing it. It's not happening. 